the boiling water treatment works happens to operate one of the largest finished water reservoirs in the United States. It's 135 million gallons of finished water. After almost 100 years of use, the Division of Water lost the ability to see flow out of the Venturis. These Venturis were buried very deep in the ground, probably 50, 60 feet below grade. The cost of replacing these Venturis or putting them back in working order was prohibitive. When we saw the Fletson technology for the first time, we were kind of uh, encouraged, again, looking at ultrasonic technology because it seemed to be a very stable instrument, very accurate flow uh, measurements, uh, particularly low flows, which is something the Venturi doesn't do so well. We tested a portable meter and uh, we tested it against the Venturi. And we were very impressed both with the ease of installation and also with the performance of the meter. We looked at the possibility of installing as many as seven ultrasonic flow meters at the Baldwin Reservoir. The pipes coming out of the Baldwin Reservoir, some are 48 inch, some are 42 inch. This is very old, thick cast iron piping in vaults uh, deep underground. We went ahead and did that and it was successful. The impact of the flow measurements out of the Baldwin Reservoir are, are very significant. Information is extremely valuable to us in terms of how water is distributed through our distribution system. I've been involved with selling package lift stations and sewage pumps for plants since the early 80s. If you have a flow meter, such as the Flexum ultrasonic product, now you've got a means to document the flow. It's reliable. It's accurate, easy to install. If you want to replace an existing mag meter, just bring out the transducer sensors, strap them around the pipe. A very easy system to install. So in the wintertime, when we have a demand less than 600 gallons a minute, we need to make up that minimum load by bypassing some water. The equipment that was installed at the time that system was put in, it couldn't turn down enough to actually regulate that control system as it was designed to do in the wintertime. Flexum came in and put the portable meter on and we were able to, in the test, uh, measure flows just far less than we were able to measure with the uh, equipment that was there. We then changed the control strategy from the old Vortex flow meter to the ultrasonic meter. Over the years, I've, I've just continued to expand on that. We were sold on the concept of the super capability of the ultrasonic metering. The useful thing about the, the steam condensate meter, given that it's A, it's ultrasonic, in this case it was an easy installation, and all in one device I have the flow and temperature. Even in just the installation of these meters, we were able to address some check valves that had failed. That is in fact the best technology for what I hope to do.